about a week ago, maybe a little bit less, uh, I posted a comment in the Choking Hazard podcast where in that particular episode, two of the hosts, uh, Sugar Free Nos and RDT33, were basically saying that they weren't going to show up for the next podcast because they were going to be playing Red Dead Redemption 2. And I offered... You know, hey, listen, if you need someone to fill in, I can't, I can't be there live, but I can record, you know, some, some NOS style intros for the calls and, and perhaps do an apple juice minute for RDT, fill in a little bit, let the show go on. And it was half kidding, but totally serious as far as if they said, hey, would you like to do this? I would do it. Now, one of the replies to that comment was from Phil Hoff, who does, of course, the counting of all of the, the secret words of the day to see who's been watching the, uh, the podcast and who hasn't. And uh, he replied with kind of a, a happy purple heart kind of thing, like, oh, that was, that was kind of a love, but not like a love love, like a purple heart kind of, but it was a happy response of some nature. I thought, is that a green light? Do they want me to do this? And I'm looking at my phone thinking, am I, do I even have this aim the right way? I don't know. Do I have it? I don't know. But it's, um, <laughs> and then I thought, you know, what the heck? What we'll do is we'll try this. We'll see if it works out. I'll put it on my channel. I'll send it to them. If they decide to use it, great. I mean, I'm recording here in a Dunkin' Donuts parking lot because that was that's part of the thing. You know, it's, it's I'm just throwing this together real quick. Get it uploaded. Get it sent to them. It's the Friday before uh, the expected recording date of the Choking Hazard podcast. I'm not sure because Ruffy was saying that perhaps he was going to take a break for a week or so. So I don't know if they're doing it this week or not, but... Hey, you know, I can always use content. Maybe it'll be funny here. You can, you, you can see where it's going if you know the podcast. And if you don't know the podcast, well, then this is... You should either A, go watch the podcast, and I'll put links in the description below, or uh, just just click off here because it's not going to make very much sense uh, from here on out. Hello, everyone. My name is Vincent Shuda, also known as the Black Knight of the base gaming community, and today I am filling in... For none other than RDT33, who at this very moment, I am almost certain, is just returning from the Wawa with a huge arm full of energy drinks just so he can return to Red Dead Redemption 2. At this very moment, he may be popping open a can of sugar-free in us, but the show must go on, despite major gaming releases. So, I have offered to step up to the plate, to take his place very, very temporarily for the Apple Juice Minute. For my Apple Juice Minute, I decided to try and present one of the greatest applications of Apple Juice that there is. Yes, you've guessed it. The Dunkin' Donuts French Apple Donut. I don't know what genius thought to themselves. You know, donuts are really tasty, but imagine if you stuffed an apple pie inside one of them. But that person, whoever they are, there should be a national holiday just for, just for the moment of this creation. We should find out what day that was. Because truly, yes, it's a French apple donut, but is there anything more American than apple pie inside a donut? I mean, mm, my fellow Americans, I would just like to say that this donut embraces all that is good about our wonderful nation. And I know that we are a nation divided about donuts. Some people believe the only good donuts can come from Dunkin' Donuts. Others lend their loyalty to Krispy Kreme. Many more ascribe their loyalties to any number of mom and pop donut shops around our fine nation. And my message is, is that we need to embrace all the donuts. If a donut is good, then we shouldn't discriminate against the donut based on where it was purchased. Only then can we make in-between meal snacking great again. And now, back to the podcast. Hello, caller. You're on the Choking Hazard podcast, where today everyone gets to be Nas. What are you right about? Hello, caller. You're on the Choking Hazard podcast, where Bruffy's usually annoyed, despite the fact that he's engaged to a super hot, super nice girl gamer. Really, what's wrong with you? What? 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 Oh, what's your question? Hello, caller. You're on the Choking Hazard podcast. What's tickling your epiglottis today? Hello, caller. You're on the Choking Hazard Podcast, where everyone's just killing time before the choke of the week. What's your question for Bruffy? Hello, caller. You're on the Choking Hazard Podcast, where everyone who doesn't love Formula One isn't here today. So what's your question about Kimi Räikkönen? Hello, caller. You're on the Choking Hazard Podcast, the only podcast that Mr. Boss from the Wind hasn't stolen from yet. What would you like him to steal today? 
Hello, caller. You're on the Choking Hazard Podcast, where we embrace the universal experience of failure. What are you questioning today? Hello, caller. You're on the Choking Hazard Podcast, where a Miata is still a dream car. What did you pull up in today, and what's your question? Hello, caller. You're on the Choking Hazard Podcast, where we make hobbies look like work. What's your question for today? Hello, caller. You're on the Choking Hazard Podcast, where we are aggressively trying to get away from our GTA roots. What non-GTA question do you have today? Now, in all seriousness, I don't expect them to use any of these. It's not really going to... I don't expect any of these to show up in the Choking Hazard podcast. I'd be thrilled if they did. But uh, my main message here is, you know, I've noticed that they've been getting a little bit discouraged as of late. I want them to see that people are watching, that they're picking up on some of the nuances of what they're trying to like, accomplish here. And that, uh, you know, things are things are noticed. The things they're doing... Are, uh, are definitely being picked up by the masses, or at least, um, moi, me, I, I'm watching. I think there's more than just me watching. So if I'm having this experience, I'm probably not the only one having this experience. Guys, keep up the good work. Thanks for all you do, and I'll see you in the next one. On that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Looks like he must be... Moo-walking.